technology behind ray tracing has everything to do with darkness and light. A couple of reflective surfaces, bit of water, and most importantly, garbage bags is the most perfect way to show you optimization mod. Now keep in mind that the different options between extreme, ultra, and high come down to firing off more rays and more bounces of light between surfaces and geometry. But first I want to give you an example of what it's like looking at water with a little bit of light behind it in near terms of absolute darkness in terms of this game. You can see in the comparison straight away that the water is not as nearly as well lit as it is to the extreme and ultra when comparing to the high. And this is one way we can start to see a bit of a difference between the three different options. And then how about firing a gun in slow motion in the same kind of condition? That with all the additional rays and bounces, at least the gun flash should be a little bit longer between extreme, ultra and high. Let's see if there's any sustained light reflection off the wall and surfaces between the three options. As far as I can tell, this seems to be the case. Race rounds from extreme definitely last a lot longer when compared to high and even ultra. I'm just going to keep playing this because the animations look so cool. And also, just so you can see the extra light on the wall in this example, noting that the extra light from extreme definitely does last milliseconds or seconds longer. Let's go have a look at the best example I can possibly give to demonstrate the difference between extreme, ultra, and high quality. The best way for me to demonstrate the differences is going to be a bunch of trash and a flashlight. Sounds super strange, and it is, but it's a great way of demonstrating how the light is bouncing off and lasting longer within the surfaces and geometry of a given shape or texture. In this example, I've aligned the frame rate as best as I can by mucking around with the settings so we can eliminate that there's a difference between the frame rate causing this sustained light in the geometry and shape and reflective surfaces of this garbage bag. And yes, this might be a bug of some kind, but it'd be a struggle to find a better example that demonstrates the extreme option having so many more rays and bounces that it takes a significant more amount of time but all the light could be completely removed from the screen. And this is why when you're driving around, you might not be able to notice a difference between the options but this is what your graphics card's trying to deal with and that's why it could make your 49 insignificant weak and pathetic 